Moving on to Yahoo Sports Reading React from Friday, July 24th. As baseball returns, MLB announces an expanded postseason. The Washington football team, that's Redskins, will be called the Washington football team, formerly known as the Redskins. National star Juan Soto tests positive for COVID-19 just hours before season begins. Sucks to be him. So I'm guessing even if he doesn't have any symptoms, he's still not allowed to play, huh? Which is just really sad. And ridiculous. Seattle is getting a new... You know, you can play if you have a cold. You know? If somebody has a cold, I'm pretty sure they can choose to play. But with this, even though it's the same type of virus as a cold, with this, you're not given a choice. All choice, all personal responsibility, all personal liability is just out the window. Seattle is getting a new NHL hockey team with an outstanding name and logo, and apparently it's the Seattle Kraken. A Sacramento Kings player left the NBA bubble for chicken wings. Okay. Does that mean he can't get back in? Will he have to sit in timeout for a while? Why stop at just virtual baseball fans? By Jay Busby. A crowd at a baseball game is a living, breathing entity, sometimes engaged, sometimes restless, sometimes bored. But now, as baseball returns at long last, there's no beast, no fans in the stands. Something essential is missing. Leagues that have already returned have tried to patch over this absence with everything from cutouts in the stands to, er, inflatable dolls. But here comes Fox with a big announcement. They'll have virtual fans cheering, booing, waving, and, well, that's pretty much it so far. But still, it's an elegant enough solution to the problem of aesthetics that comes with watching baseball in an empty ballpark. But why stop with just fans in the stands? There's no rule, not even an unwritten one, that you can't fill a stadium with literally any virtual sprites imaginable. So let's cut loose. Dogs. This is non-negotiable. For at least one game this season, Fox must replace all human virtual fans with virtual dogs. Imagine the cacophony of howls that would come from this ag agglomeration of good boys and girls. Twelve of ten would recommend. That's retarded. Old Hall of Famers. This is a suggestion from Yahoo Sports baseball writer extraordinaire Mike Oz. I'm sure that Yahoo Sports has any sort of extraordinary writers. Recreations of legendary ball players watching their descendants roam their old stomping grounds. Give me Jedi ghost Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle hugging and high-fiving after an Aaron Judge walk-off, Oz writes, and I concur. Ted Williams and Tony Gwynn critiquing Mike Trout. Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa watching Bryce Harper's homers and smiling. Sandy Koufax and Greg Maddox pointing at Clayton Kershaw and laughing. The possibilities are endless. Eh. Costumes. Fox is already boasting of its ability to outfit the fans in the home team's colors. That's great, but why stop there? Have Christmas in September. Outfit everyone in Halloween gear in late October. When it's 70s night, the stadium ought to look like Studio 54. Every day can be a Comic-Con cosplay event. At this point, it just sounds like they're mocking Fox. In-game promotions. Look, if we're going to be authentic, we want the home crowd to see some in-game promotions with some extra topspin. When in Washington, instead of watching presidents in giant head costumes racing, why not have the actual Washington Jefferson et al. race? When in Atlanta, why not have the freeze race Dale Earnhardt's black number three? Instead of cheerleaders firing a cannon that shoots out hot dogs, why not have hot dogs firing a cannon that shoots out cheerleaders? Think big here, folks. Oh my goodness. Virtual fans acting like real fans. Okay, sure, I get it. You want to have fans cheering and booing and doing the wave and all that. But when have you ever seen baseball fans acting in a completely coherent and rational fashion for nine innings? 
We need to see virtual fans doing the wave at the wrong time, getting into virtual fights, cursing little virtual cusses at virtual moms trying to cover the virtual ears of virtual little kids. Oh my goodness. We want virtual ushers hauling virtual fans out of the expensive seats they've snuck into. Virtual goofballs spilling virtual beer over the row in front of them. I want to see some virtual shirtless moron fall asleep in the bleachers and get himself a virtual second-degree sunburn. Authenticity. It's within our reach. Aliens. Most cheap seats are already a wretched hive of scum and villainy, so why not go full Star Wars cantina? Put aliens, zombies, velociraptors, and dwarves out there. Have a dragon and a kaiju looming out behind the center of field wall. Tradition? We're in the entertainment business now, friends. Let's do it, Fox. This will be the strangest baseball season in history. Only right it ought to get weird in the stands, too. Paler. Despite the Washington name change, more to do. Oh, brother. Redskins. Redskins, 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 Redskins. At home, which stars might skip a spring college football season? Thamel, the key role that's college football's biggest obstacle. He threw the old flattened curve. Ah ha 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 ha. Dr. Anthony Fauci, wearing the number 19, threw out the first pitch to open the 2020 MLB season and, well, see for yourself. Yep. And then he proceeded to uh, sit in the stands with his wife and some other dude and watch the game. You know, those empty stands where there are supposed to be no fans. Nobody else in the whole world gets to watch baseball live unless your name is Dr. Anthony Fauci. Or you're his wife, or I guess his buddy. People, I've seen people bitching about how he didn't have his mask on and he was sitting shoulder to shoulder with his two other guests and his wife didn't have her mask on either. That's, to me, that's not the issue. It's just the the fact that he got to be there at all watching the whole game when nobody else in the world gets to do that that's what's fucked up follow yahoo sports on social